Hello, everybody, and welcome to the top five new comics for April 12th and 13th of 2022. I'm, as always, Chris, and let me start where we must. Please take the time to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, comment down below. Let me know what books you are most looking forward to. And now that we're done with all that, let's talk about some comics. It's going to be a good week, starting with Flashpoint Beyond, number zero. This is written by Jeff Johns with art by Eduardo Riso. So let's start with Jeff. Uh, I've been so fairly critical of Jeff Johns recently uh, outside of the image book he did, uh, Geiger. A lot of his DC work has been not to my liking recently. But he's going back to Flashpoint, which for me, Flashpoint was a seminal DC book for me. I was kind of a wary DC reader. I checked out a few things here and there. Um, I liked a lot of the Batman stuff prior to that. But I wasn't a DC fan. And then Flashpoint hit and it hit the right time for me as a reader and as a person. And I checked it out. I was like, okay, let's see what this is. I really enjoyed it. It's not the, the greatest book of all time, but it's a fun book. And with all the, with all the 52's flaws, uh, one thing it did really well was it brought in new readers. And I would consider myself one of them. In as much as I wasn't a DC Universe reader at that point. So Flashpoint is a seminal book for me personally. And for Jeff to go back to it, it's one of two things. It's either an amazing cash grab and he just, him and DC want to do something to try to make us feel that way again, which it very well could be. Or Jeff has a story. And... Jeff felt like it was worth going back to this universe. And the latter is the reason why I'm excited because I want to hope. I want to hope with any creative that they go back because they have a story and they have something they want to say inside that world again. And that's what I'm hoping with Jeff Johns and Flashpoint. So I'm not sure where or how we're going to get back into the Flashpoint universe. I know, uh, I full call him Flashpoint Batman has been in and out of the DC universe recently, but I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see how he brings it back. Uh, I, you know, all the characters involved here with the Aquaman that was there, the Wonder Woman character that um, was in this universe. There's a lot of cool things that went on. So I really, I really looking forward to this, really hoping it, it stands up on its own and is a good story. So Hoping for the best here, everybody. Hoping for the best. So let's move on. After that, I've got X-Men 92, House of 92, number one. This is written by Steve Fox with art by Salvador Espin. So first, I had to look up to see what the XCII meant. And it means 92, everybody. <laughs> so... Talking about some seminal moments in my life personally, X-Men 92. I know I talk about Batman the Animated Series a lot. And Batman the Animated Series and Batman Beyond are huge seminal cartoons for me. But what's kind of left in the wake of that is X-Men 92 was a huge cartoon for me as well. I watched that all the time. Absolutely loved it. Um, when they came out the DVDs years ago, it's when I kind of realized that that was most likely my first Captain America as well. He shows up in like season six or seven. I can't remember exactly. But it was a, a show that I really enjoyed. So whenever they go back to it, I always have a, a pull to it, much like I do with the Batman animated stuff. And this one's a little interesting because they're taking... So actually, let me pull back a little bit. So if you don't know me very well, you, you, you don't know that I'm... Even though I say that and I love that cartoon, I'm not an X-Men fan. Um, I just haven't had the love for those characters and the world that they're in for most of my adult life. And what dragged me into the X-Men world was the Jonathan Hickman of it all. Uh, Hickman's a guy that whenever he goes somewhere, I'm going to check it out. Whenever he does something, I'm going to at least see what's going on. 
And when he announced he was doing X-Men, I felt... I, I was worried. Because I had had such strong feelings against X-Men for so long. And it ended up being something I really enjoyed. I, I still feel like he pulled out too soon. Um, that something happened behind the scenes that we don't know about because I don't feel like he finished his story, which is kind of the tale of Jonathan Hickman and Marvel. But that aside, we pushed to today. We've got this new X, uh, X-Men 92 book, and they're going to basically take those characters in that world and tell the Krakoa story, the House of X story. Um, hence why they use Roman numerals for the name. And I'm cautiously optimistic. I, I like when they go back to the 92 universe. I like the comics that have come out of it. Uh, and to tell this Krakoan age story inside of that world, it could be very interesting. And I really hope it is. So it's got... a. <laughs> It's a little goofy looking, but at the same time, it's a fucking cool cover. I <laughs> I really enjoy that cover. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. It's going to be a long episode, everybody. Long episode. After that, I've got Image, number one. This is written by Kyle Higgins, Jeff Johns, Blender, Brendan Fletcher, Wyatt Kennedy, Scotty Young, Declan Shelby, and Marika and Dolofo. With art by Andrea Muti, Babstar, Daniel D. Niculio, Luna Vicio, and that is all. That's all the artists. I do that with long lists all the time, everybody. I keep going, think there's more. So, Image, number one. What is this? So, first of all, it's the 30th anniversary of Image. Um, in a year full of anniversaries, as we joke about on the Fortress Comic News podcast, uh, we have one that's actually like really, really important. Unlike you know the 65th anniversary of this character, or the 60th anniversary of every Marvel character, uh, <laughs> we've got Image turning 30. Big deal, and they're doing this big anthology book to tell original stories inside of the creator-owned comics uh, with the creative teams, and I really like this. Um, Robert Kirkman did this with his uh, Skybound X book. And uh, now Image is kind of doing it across the board. It's a cool idea. It's a good way to try to introduce people to... It does two things really great. Introduce people to new stories they wouldn't otherwise check out. And sell books to gullible idiots like me who will buy the book because, hey, there's something Geiger-related in here. Hey... Radiant Black's on the cover. There's got to be a Radiant Black uh, issue in here. So, I say that jokingly. I'm making fun of myself a little bit. But there's a bit of a cash grab to this. But at the same time, you know, I'm still down for it. So, we got Jeff Johns and Andrew Muti together doing Blizzard. We got Brendan Flesher and Babs Tarr um, doing Red Stitches. White Kennedy and Lu 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 Luana. Vichio doing Gospel of the New Century, which is a book I, I haven't heard of. Marika Andoff uh, doing Loop Hopeless, Shift with Kyle Higgins and Daniel Nicholelli, plus so many more. Um, and also it's giving you a first look at new series by Declan Shelby and Scotty Young, which is really exciting as well. 48 pages. I just I'm always down for a cool anthology book, especially when it's an anthology book that encompasses things in the world or worlds that we're already a part of or could suck me into a new world that you know I might do. So I'm really I'm looking forward to this one. It's it's a really cool idea and I hope it does uh some cool things. Uh a little confused why Rainy Black's reading Young Blood. Um save your money kids. Uh next <laughs> sticking with image I've got a town called Terror number one this is written by Steve Niles with art by Sisman Kudrensky. A town called Terror. So, not the biggest horror fan in the world, but ironically, a Steve Niles fan. Uh, and when I saw this book coming, it was kind of the first big announcement from Steve we've seen in a while. 
he's been doing stuff under the radar. He's been actually doing some uh, like uh, work for higher stuff like IDW and other things too. But this is an original book, crime book, horror book by him. So I'm down to check it out. We've got, so our main character, or actually the husband of our main character is brutally murdered in the middle of this town. His wife goes to find her and she gets trapped in this, like this town. And it's the, the a town, a town called terror, but it's a town of just everything horror you can think of. So I think Steve's going to have a lot of fun doing a bunch of different horror stuff throughout this. And I hope that he uh, bends genres throughout it with all the horror and uh, brings all of us into different stuff. Plus the interior art in this is phenomenal. The covers are amazing. I'm really excited for this. And I'm really glad that they got this book at image. Cause I think it'll get more attention to image than it would elsewhere. No offense to any other publisher. It's uh, Steve's done a bunch of really cool stuff across the industry. I think he's even done a few image books, but this one seems to be getting some attention and I'm really happy about that. Um, I mean, listen, Steve did 30 days a night. So people know who Steve is. He's a name. He had a movie made after that. I get it, but still he's, it'll be cool to see him back on top again. After that, I've got Breakout, number one. This is written by Zach Kaplan with art by Wilton Santos. So, first of all, Zach Kaplan, just a very, very underrated uh, comic creator. He's done a bunch of really cool stuff from Eclipse to... Uh, honestly, my favorite book by him is Port of Earth. And he's got a couple new ones coming out, this being one of them. Uh, the premise on its own could be fun it's one of those things where if because it's zach and i like zach i'm going to try it out um but basically aliens come they take all the young people all the teenagers they're stuck in this prison and they can't count on anybody to come and find them so they have to find a way out and the story is them breaking out of this prison breaking out of this space prison so <laughs> it's the, you know, the premise is okay. I'm not in love with it, but Zach just does an amazing job with sci-fi. Uh, he's just a great writer. So I am excited to give it a shot and see what he's got in store for us. Um, that's all I can say. Check out all the, Zach's other stuff. Zach Kaplan, awesome writer. Like I said, Port of Earth, you will not be disappointed. It's one of my favorite sci-fi comics. I'll say top five all time. I love that book. So that is everything, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. As I said at the top of the show, remember to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. I appreciate when you guys do that. It, it means the world to me that people are watching these videos and they're checking out the channel. Um, also, remember, we do the podcast every week, Fortress Comic News. Go over the comic news. We have a creator interview every week. And we've... Had some bangers recently. I mean, every creator that comes on the show is amazing. I love them all. Um, the past month and the next month are just... I'm blown away with the people we're getting and uh, some of the conversations we're having. So seriously, check out that podcast. But if you're not a podcast listener, they're also available on the YouTube, so you can check them out there as well. And uh, yeah, so I thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all here next week.